Hey everybody, welcome to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here to watch more Boji the Rock. Last time was After Dark, where Boji hears that her school's accepting bands to play at their upcoming cultural festival, but can't bring herself to actually turn in the application form for Kisoku Band. Ikkyo submits the form for her, but later feels guilty about seeing Boji's reaction. Hikaru later shows up at Starry and invites Kisoku Band to see her band Sick Hack perform live at Shinguku Club, called Fult where they play a more psychedelic rock style. After the show, Kikuru tells Bochi that she also was a reclusive loner throughout school who thought playing guitar would make her popular, and she drank to deal with her nerves the day of the first live performance. Kikuru then promises to come see Bochi's uh, next show at her school. Bochi later tells EQ that she's looking forward to the festival. So yeah, it's, uh, it's school festival time. As much as I think, like, what are they going to do for the Ultimate episode, Pen Ultimate, we're already here. They got to do the show. I mean, it's a joke that I made when we got to episode eight, but episode mm -hmm. eight is apparently voted the best <laughs> episode. And I made yeah. the joke that, you know, what is the graph called? You know, you'll. We're all middle results are in the middle of the graph. Bell curve. Yeah, the bell curve of the episode. But it's, that's not a fair. Uh, assumption because it's entirely possible like the same way when we rate episodes ourselves mm -hmm. that when we rate the episodes it's not a bell curve episodes don't get better or worse they tend to be uh, like a sine wave right that <laughs> there's some up up and down episodes and maybe the sine wave gets bigger in parts and smaller in other parts and so it's entirely possible we go from like a a real good well i don't know but she hasn't really had any down curves <laughs> Every episode of the series so far has been good. There haven't been any outright bad or terrible episodes at all. The series overall is good quality. And if people want to say 8 is the best, that's fine. Every episode's pretty good. I mean, we didn't say 8 was the best when we ranked Yeah, I know, if other people want to say that. I did that questionnaire for you at the end of episode 8, because mm -hmm. I knew this before going into episode 8, that it was voted the best. And we yeah. both had different answers for what we thought was the best, neither of which was episode 8, so... <laughs> if anything, come here to Stoneface Reactions to get the least popular answers. That's least, what you come here for. Least popular opinions, uh, psycho laughter at sad stuff, mm -hmm, and, uh, I guess, pedantic arguments. Based mm -hmm. no, that, entirely our... not on the episodes that we watched, but other things happening in our lives. Yeah, that's our bread and butter. Well, it's not so. our bread and butter. Bread and butter implies that money is being made, and no money is being made. I can literally tab over to our YouTube statistics and see estimated revenue still sits at 0, 0.00. We're doing this for fun, Griff, not for bread or butter. You see, that's just the kind of pedantic argument people come here for. So, before we get into those pedantic arguments, yeah. be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. Top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, Unfiltered, Uncensored, and Uncut, go ahead and check us out over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but hey, no pressure, it's all sports channel, just a little bit extra. Oh, so they are doing the Hell Cafe. No, that was the class. Oh, she's doing this throne thing. Got a whole brochure. Oh, it's a little bit of a little what Bochi is missing? <laughs> we all know that was never gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, like seeing Maid Chan Bochi. Oh, wait, never mind. Well, I guess we are gonna see that happen. I think I've got a comparative story for this situation as well. 
I'll wait for the opening credits. She wouldn't be on the roof because we already see the people are there. <laughs> I do love that they're doing the scientific method to figure out where Boach is hiding. And you're already in the hallway where she hides out. <laughs> Live action slug footage. I mean, at least she put the outfit on. Like, yeah, that's like a whole set more than we thought she'd get to. A box made. Uh, now there is something that we can all uh, vibe to right there. It's like, oh, I can check online. Actually, I don't have a phone or anything like that, so no. That's right. That's right. There I'm we called. go. That's the YouTube we all know and love right there. Maybe they're gonna record the the performance at school. And that's what she's going to use as our new video. That's a good point, actually. There we go. We got our second conflict to work with. All right, so a quick story. Okay. Thing, the vibe that I feel from this. When I was mm -hmm. a kid, I once played with a bunch of friends in a mud pit. Right? Just giant yeah. big old mud pit. My clothes got completely covered with mud because playing in a fucking mud pit. Of course. Kids I was playing with, assholes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh... They said, just take off your clothes. We'll wash them. You won't get in trouble. Well, needless to say, I now am running through the neighborhood buck-ass naked, trying to get home without being seen, and am dodging from position to position behind bushes, trees, fences, etc. Mm -hmm. Just classic boys' night out, right? <laughs> well, again, they were saying, What'd be more embarrassing is running down the halls dressed as a maid, not wanting to be seen dressed as a maid. My position, running through a neighborhood buck ass naked, not wanting to be seen buck ass naked. I think, like, the most comparable worst story I can remember is, like, pre middle school, maybe, or like exactly middle school, like, going to like a local park getting a little lost in the woods and then like friends go and it's like oh yeah you heard about the knife killer out here right oh, there you go <laughs> ゴミ箱とかタンクの中探した甲斐がありましたね。全く人探ししてる気分になれなかったけどね。ほら、早く戻ろう。はい。ガーガンのメイドバック。お、あ、見て見て。ほら、ここ。私たちの名前載ってる
There we go. Ryu is actually a secret agent. Super good at shooting. Yay! Yay. She said that a lot. I love the way she said it. <laughs> it is very adorable. This, this is just fun slice of, slice of lifetime, honestly. Oh, but she looks so happy there in this frame. Uh, and now she here she is. Oh, yeah, because she excitedly said, what should we do next? Is their hair so tall it's scraping the ceiling? It is! Who the hell are these people? Are I don't know what's happening right now. I think they're getting invaded by the Yakuza. I guess another class is doing like a Mad Max thing. I don't. Yeah, yes. <laughs> we decided to do the Fist of the North Star Cafe. ビジュアルフォーメンで売り出すのもありか。え、どうしました。ああ、the あ、ほ、これ。キロチキン。<laughs> that feeling where the rest of your class kind of fails. <laughs> Time for maximum embarrassment. At that point, it seems like a curse. They didn't even cook it, it's frozen. This, just the cheapness of everything, just is winning me over. Uh, now we have the real magical girl anime here. See, I thought the badump would come when they were doing the heart thing and not like a wink or a. Hey, 
よかったらうちらのクラス手伝ってくれないかな本当実は来てみたかったのそれ Did we already see what Kita's class was doing? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think so. They, they wandered around the whole school, but didn't specify, like, going to her class. There we go. The entire squad in outfits. This is what you wanted, Internet. You asked for it. Uh, that look. The praise is winning them over. There they go. There we go. Perfect 3D animation. Oh. <laughs> we only brought 20 frozen meals over at Walmart. We sold out. The extortion time. <laughs> wow. Just immediately surrendering. Oh, now that's a school gym. We're gonna have like three parents and then like one student with nothing to do in the back. I don't think they finished the sign. I was worried for a second because the alarm was right there in screen and they were doing anything. Oh no, that would be the perfect way to do last second drama, right? Just like start strumming, turn guitar, accidentally hit fire alarm. <laughs> so excited I can't even picture what they're doing here. <laughs> uh, but I guess it's good to see Bochi's whole family is good at making memes, really. いいと思います。いや、今でも十分なんだけどさ、売れてるバンドのライブみたいにさ、MCでも面白く盛り上がらないかなって。面白いバンドの <laughs> I mean, it also seems obvious if anyone was going to MC it, it would be uh, Kita. I don't know. I felt all that criticism on like a, uh, the level of my soul. It's like no one's here to listen to me MC. 
しかったですなんかおどうかしたコトさんああのライブ少しでも盛り上がるといいですねうん絶対楽しんでもらえるっていいね強気の姿勢ぼっちちゃん頼りにしてるよ私たちが自信を持っているのでびっくりしちゃうかもねいやそれは If we fail, it's your fault. What was she going to say? I'm, I'm curious where they're going with this. Well, her eye did that whole downturn. Like, I, I read like a moment of sadness in her eye there. So I'm confused about what she was about to say. No, we have to have it now. Oh. I mean, this is the dream from element or from middle school to today about to come true, so. Yep, this is everything she's wished for in life up until now. Everyone in the audience has glow sticks, oh yeah. <laughs> Six nine, nice. Somebody had to make that joke. Somebody had to. Mata Hitori no Sekai ni hai temas, ne? ぼっちちゃん行くよ。はい。前のバンド盛り上がってるね。この曲今年ヒットしましたしね。バンドのライブでペンライト振り回すとか。あ、緊張してきた。来たじゃん。深呼吸。ぼっちちゃんは大丈
ろそろいい加減にしとけ Oh, well, that was the next snap. She's dead. Matasta, she kissed the Kubandoa. Fudanwa, Gakugai, the Katsudo Stere Bandodis. Kyova, Matasta, Nimo, Minani Totemo, E. Omoideo, Skurio, and I when he smuts. Sorede, Moshi, Kyomi, the Tetara, Dive House, Nimo, Minik, the Kudasa. Named. Nope, nope. Don't need to tell anyone what the name is. Just drop by. Ah, oh, okay. Do you think the ending song is the song they're about to play? That would be appropriate, wouldn't it? Anyway, when I was saying you're ruining a perfectly good scene, I was like getting emotional, and as is the case, the sound of Griffin saying psychotic shit in my ear. <laughs> dragged me out of the moment because it's hey, it's Bochi saying it's Bochi saying oh it turned out exactly as I thought and it's like oh you see your family in the crowd and then there's two people that you made uh, fans of out on the street and it's like oh yeah sometimes it's not about hearing everybody cheer your name sometimes it's just a few people that mean the most to you mm -hmm. oh there's this thing it's gripping my ear fuck <laughs> Well, uh, I'm referencing a different anxiety to you. It's the anxiety of, oh, hey, you notice that person over there? I wasn't listening to anxiety. I was listening to a good moment. And then you said an anxiety. I was like, well, oh, the heartfelt touching moment. Well, that's left me now. Well, they prefaced it earlier with, like, this was, like, her whole worries for, like, the start of the episode. Well, no, it wasn't a worry. It was an expectation. As I said, she heard everyone screaming for Kita, and mm -hmm. then she realized that to the few people that were cheering for her was all she really needed. Tune in next week. So, yeah. I don't know what possibly could happen in episode 12 that would make it not the number one episode of the show. Uh, well, I think I know what's what's going to happen. It's going to be 20 minutes of just performance. I hope not. Not because uh, I don't like the performance, yeah. but typically those are the things that I have to edit out, which will mean it it'll will be, be 24 minutes of silence and us reacting to silence on the audience's behalf. Right. What do we do for 24 minutes of sitting here just listening to music? <laughs> what What do you as a reactor do? There's not a whole lot. That would be the worst case scenario. But, well, uh, I mean, it wouldn't have to be. I mean, they're obviously, I don't know what it's called in um, in cinema and everything. Okay, you're recording a scene, right? And two people have to talk to one another. I think I've heard this described better in um, Red Letter Media, Best of the Worst. Can't remember what movie it was. Two people have to talk to one another, and uh, you have to remember you're recording in a visual medium, right? Yeah. So, those people do performative actions in order that the audience doesn't get bored of just... You don't guy sits in chair, you go to guy sitting in chair, guy sitting in chair says something, woman sits... On edge of chair, somewhere else in the room, camera to the woman. Right, they're, they're woman says around, something. They're being physical and active. No, that's so what I'm saying. Can... That's the yeah. bad part. If they don't, if you just go, woman sitting in chair, sitting on edge of chair, guy sitting in chair, back and forth, nothing changes, nothing right, happens. Right, the George Lucas solution: a shot, reverse shot, and then do that for the entire scene for like 20 minutes of just two people talking to each other. That's why you have people cooking you have people doing shit so that even if all that's being conveyed is the exposition of whatever's happening they're still doing action and there's still things being things that are gathering your attention as an audience viewer right right uh it's also why i think like when they went to do the uh psychedelic song uh, a couple episodes ago. Like, we had, like, this big visual medium thing going on. It wasn't just them sitting there staring at them for five minutes, right? I guess the best example would be, like, a, say, a Bill and Ted. 
Bill and Ted, they go and they give their history speech, right? And it's not a constant, just on stage watching the historical people say stuff. You pan back to the audience and you see everybody that's interacted throughout the whole thing. Oh, there's Missy hitting on some other old guy. There's the school principal, surprised look on his face, talking to another school teacher. We see everybody doing shit. And it's yeah. and it's also informative to the whole movie. And it's not just watching people on stage. So I'm saying I don't think 24 minutes of the music would just be 24 minutes of music. Yeah, absolutely. I, I get what you're saying. Uh, but we'll, we'll have to see what they fill in next time. Like, I, I think even if they don't, like, obviously fill up the entire episode with music, it's probably going to start off with, like, a set... And then we're going to go ahead and move into the, wow, that was so much fun. I can't wait to do it again. Wow, Bochi, you've really grown. And that would be the season closer, right? That that would be my feel for like, all right, I want to tie a bow on the narrative and be ready for next season. I don't know if there's a next season. Um, Given how I nice also, this is, I'd be surprised. I also think it might be disingenuous just to give Bochi a win. <laughs> like... Mm -hmm. She has grown, sure, but she's still at heart the same person. Like, yeah. literally ran away from the maid cafe this episode to hide it outside amongst the trash cans. So, obviously, she's growing, never grown. She, she's still the same person, but she's learning new ways to handle things. So I'm saying it's not. She, she will of... still go into the back rooms, hide underneath a bush, and go ahead and use her phone for like an hour and avoid contact. Okay, that's never going to change. Two things: one, hope she doesn't go to the back rooms; she'll die. Two, <laughs> Bochy in the back. Room. Two, Sorry. my point being, it's just not a Watamote situation where they turn out exactly the same, if not maybe worse than they were before. I want to bring up Watamote. Watamote, you could argue, ends up worse only because we now know who she is as a character, and that perception of her is different from what minor sympathies we might have had for her at the beginning. Because, it's like, oh, she's a sad girl, and oh, she's a sad girl because of the way she acts. Yeah, this, this is a slice-of-life comedy music. I don't see this ending on a sad note. That would be the worst possible option for the whole series, and like, sour it, right? I think at the end it's probably going to end up more like Aizoken, which is not a full full swing in the other direction. She is somebody that comes out of her shell, but still is very reliant on the small group of friends that are around <laughs> her to get things done, who motivate her to do the things that she needs to do. Yeah, I, I think this would be an example of that phrase, like, the more things change, the more they stay the same kind of deal. This is exactly the thing we've been, like, circling for a bit. It's like, hey, we have an example that makes that phrase actually make sense. I don't know, it's the pedantic in me that super wants to argue. Oh, I know, I know. But we'll go ahead and get to that arguing next time. So for right now, everybody, this has been Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we'll get to next time. See you around. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?